Robin Hood is one of the worst and most accidentally funny shows I've ever seen. Tell Nottingham what happens to a scum when they pick on small children. No, it said Robin Hood, not that one. Marion, my love, will you marry me? Oh, darling, I thought you'd never ask me. <coughs> okay, I suppose even a cartoon fox is more canonical than what we've ended up with in Canada. Spelt with a Y. Don't question it, the colonists spell everything wrong. The boat is in my hood, I know you noticed that I run this hood. Yeah, that's the Robin Hood I know and love. The one where the soundtrack is constantly playing like nails down a chalkboard. I heard you come in late last night, fill up the condom jar if you need a re-up. <laughs> now that's what I call culture. Come and see just how we live. You're Show killing it, brother! Yes, yeah, stop, it's already dead, love. Where did you get these masks? The bargain bin of Watch Dogs 2. We're criminals who made the intelligent decision to glow in the dark. You'll never get spotted now, breaking and entering. Coder, come and try us, we the boulders and my... Oh, the music alone is gonna kill me in this show. I can only apologize, folks. But to be fair, you knew what you were in for when you clicked this video. But they've been breaking and entering into a construction site. And so along come the people you're supposed to despise. The Sheriff's Department. Y'all steady popping bottles, so we here to take the sour. Oh, it goes on a long time, this song does, doesn't it? You know Your man don't want no smoke. This TV show wasn't made for me. We are 50 seconds in. For once I agree with him, I do deserve to be insulted for watching this show. <laughs> my crew is ride or die, ride or die. I mean, if you're giving me the option, I already know my answer, love. Why is this film like a university student's end of year project? But the sheriff's department tells them to stay where they are. They don't. I mean, they were really happy here five seconds ago, but the moment people turn up and there's consequences, ah, let's run away. Hi. Yeah, run away and hide, like the hardened criminals you are. This is private property. We can do whatever we want. That's meant to be a bad thing, but after you've just subjected me to that song, we're really verging on karma here. Eastlink no longer carries these shows. That's got a sting if you made these. They're really pleased with themselves. We no longer carry these, folks. Come back and subscribe. <laughs> but they run off and she's like, oh my God, I forgot my phone. It's the talent level I'd expect of our heroes. I am glad that they had the intelligence to turn off the glowing LED on their face. In a show like this, that isn't guaranteed. So she goes back to grab the phone, and he was just waiting for her, I guess. Nice mask. Take it off. Who do you think she is, Batman? Why don't you just handcuff her and take it off yourself? The show's really weird because you clearly have such hatred of an institution, and yet have had so little contact with them, you don't even understand their standard procedures. He shines a light in their face, and they decide to insult the audience by playing that trash again. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Oh, super speed running there. I, I think we've got to see that running again. I mean, that was the running of a top grade hero. Who needs Tom Cruise run when you've got this little speed demon? Run this, run this hood, run this, run this <laughs> she runs like Moraine. <laughs> I'm 1 minute 32 in. I'm not gonna survive the end of this show. But it gets worse when she runs away and a cop grabs her. He's like two or three times her weight. I don't know if you saw that on there. My face might have covered up the best bits. Normally does. I'm sure you've seen it a lot in selfies. Everyone knows selfies. It's basically women covering up things more interesting than their face with their face. Those squats really must have paid off, eh? But if I could stick my fat ass out long enough, I think I can carry through the momentum. <laughs> Why do you look petrified? Oh my, I can't believe it. She spun in a circle. So they run away to the worst music I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry, but I just, like, if I have to listen to it. And they made the really stupid mistake of committing crime within visual distance of their own houses. Criminals and lazy. What great heroes you've got for us here. And then we go to the £10 budget they had to print some signs. Yeah, Sherwood Forest is actually just a couple of roads now. Because otherwise, these trees would be Sherwood Forest. And you have a hood. In the countryside. <laughs> the worst thing is this is a Canadian show using English folklore. And you know the only reason they chose it is because they saw Robin Hood, saw Hood, and thought, yeah, that'll do. That's the tenuous connection that I'm going to build a TV series out of. <laughs> so they go to a tower block of flats with the sheriff on their tail. Yeah! And then it turns out everyone is throwing stuff at him. Yeah! Oh. oh, no, we can't go in there. Some people are slightly annoyed. The Reds want to play? Get the toys up! I can understand why he wants to get the toys out. They are acting like petulant children. Go upstairs to the house and out comes a, like, a little tiny drone 
I don't even know what you think you're going to do with this. Get the toys out. Which one? The the one you can use to be a peeping Tom through the windows. You're too scared to go in there anyway. Even if you know the floor to go to, you're not going to go up. Buzzard. Who? Yeah, they've got a friend named Buzzard. The tees. Get the tees? What is it? Their private link tree? Oh no, it's some pool balls. Because they don't even play the far more civilized game of snooker. Then they get a slingshot that they built to a crossbow frame. Crossbows renowned throughout history for requiring very little skill to use. That was their main advantage. The problem is, this is Robin Hood. First he is a pissing bow loaf. Bows require lots of talent and years of training to use proficiently. But we're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to use a crossbow because we're talentless little hacks. Basically the perfect metaphor for this show. What was that, slingshot? I ain't tested it yet. What is there to test? It's an elastic band on a piece of wood, love. This isn't a high-tech piece of machinery. They start firing balls. How much you got this? Yeah, that's about what I expected, to be honest. Here, let me try. Yeah, you failed once. I'm not going to give you another go, you useless twat. I'm Robin Hood, savior of the series. Give it to me. So she loads up a ball. And from this angle, you can see why crossbows were renowned for acquiring no skill. It was nice of it to hover in the same place for you. But they hit the drone with a very light ball at almost no speed. Falls out the sky, smashes on the ground into a million pieces. They're actually really strong and easy to repair. Worst case scenario, a couple of the rotor blades break, you just replace them. They're very modular, actually. So the sheriff is in his car. That's where the drone crashed. The car is right next to it. It's mostly in one piece. You could take you a few seconds. What are they gonna do? Lob some eggs at you? And he's just like, no. Nah. I'm gonna leave it there. It's a shame they didn't have a camera pointing up to this window when they took their masks off in full view of the road. Yo, bees can close that time, Robin. No. What? Yo, bees can close that time, Robin. Maybe he's French Canadian. Uh, they can't touch us. One literally smacked you through the floor. You're the worst Robin Hood I've ever seen. And I've seen a fox. And stay out of Sherwood. That should be easy enough. It looks like a sh then we get the intro sequence. That's someone who's proficient with a bow, you can tell. I take everything back. This is the worst song I've ever heard in my life. This is nothing compared to the first one. Like waves of cringe emitting out my speakers. Back now at the sheriff's department, and it's gotta be honest, it's this scene where I stopped watching. Generally, for these videos, I watch it in advance and then go back and record. Not this one. I was too busy wetting myself. I thought, I'm not going to spoil th When my men lose a drone worth more than their salaries combined. Heel vs. Babyface brought this up, but how little are they getting paid? That drone was a piece of trash. It just had a camera on it and four blades. Why would you spend so much money on something? Couldn't even survive crashing into the ground. Thought like it was a military drone or something. I expect a tale of heroic proportions. Well, if you want heroes, I have a feeling you came to the wrong show. <laughs> On either side, everyone's evil. Morons who can't catch kids in Halloween masks. We had to send in the hardware. You sent a drone up in the air? What was it going to do? Shout what is the respect, cops. You like anyone could respect a piss ant like you. If you want to call someone like him a piss ant, it can't be done by somebody who looks like if they turn sideways, they disappear. I'll go door to door. Uh oh, she's almost off camera there. Watch out. She might go two dimensional. But he's like, look, give me 10 men, we'll go up there, go door to door, bring them all back in pieces. I was all for it. That's the show I want to see. Is that how they handle things over in Mercia? That's how you just handle it here. Then they might have a bit more respect. Whole squad on call to carry your incompetent ass. It's an entire tower block loft that he'd be taking on with 10 people. It'd be like the 300 movie. It'd be awesome. Sherwooders are tight. They're smart. What? The first thing one of them did was forget their own phone. They're committing crime within viewing distance of their own house. They've already been tracked down to their own house and their grand invention was a piece of elastic tied to a bit of wood none of these say smart don't talk to cops oh okay fair enough they care about each other <clears throat> <clears throat> That was the bit I stopped watching. I was like, I can't ruin the rest of the show. <laughs> Look at his face. I just got kicked by a borrower and fell over. <laughs> Doesn't even put any of a minuscule weight into it. <laughs> Given the height difference between the two of them, she's roughly kicking him somewhere in his left thigh. He'd just stand there like, what on earth are you doing, love? Why are you grabbing your stomach, love? There's no way she could reach that high. So Sherwood animals assaulted you with more than a light breakfast? Or just say you do it, take your position, and then go along with the first guy's plan. We've already found the brains of the operation and it ain't you, love. Black girls in my area cold, dark skin, light skin, medium tone.
I'm sorry, I had to do it again. We're gonna suffer through the music together. So she leaves a Robin Hood mask just lying around, you know. Gets reported across the news that these rampant criminals have been wearing these specific masks and your family's just like, yeah, we know our daughter does it. You were out late. Who with? Tyson, Amit, Lauren. <laughs> She's calling you a ho- I'm just gonna keep listing names because I know they're all options and you've done it before. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of my lax morals. So her sister is making a sign that says, feed people, eat the rich. I don't know why you need to be fed. It looks like you've eaten enough crayons already, love. Come on, get that blood flowing. <laughs> I told you, we're gonna have to suffer through it together. This video isn't even entertainment anymore. It's a test of your mental strength. Could you survive to the end? This music's older than I am. To be fair, you're like 12. I've got jeans older than you. If we're from the song in a blackout, you might not even be here. What? That was multi-layered, wasn't it? I mean, firstly, you were an accident. The only thing it takes to offer my legs is a song. It's good to know we've got such high standards. Some of my best times of my life, I walked past a radio station couldn't control myself. I couldn't play the radio in the car. I'd crash. Speaking of which, I heard you come in late last night. Build up the condom jar if you need a re-up. <laughs> Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I'm so proud of you, daughter. You're a whore as well. <laughs> you should have been Australian. You spend that much time with your legs in the air. At least down in Australia, you'd be standing the right way up. What is happening? <laughs> I crashed at Allen. Make that face all you want, as long as you don't catch something. <laughs> what? She's physically repulsed by this guy, and she's like, yeah, well, you can bang him anyway, as long as you use the jar. Houses used to have swear jars in order to instill discipline and civilization into their child. Now we've got this. You've been at it a lot lately. I've had to refill the jar. I knew you'd taken up smoking. I just didn't realize it was friction burns. So then the mom comes along and brings them some eggs. Straight from Miss Mbatha's hands upstairs. Who's keeping chickens? upstairs in a block of flats and why scrawny things of course they're scrawny things they've been kept in a block of flats love you don't need the sheriff you need the rspca i'd say passive but they just shoot them anyway what about protein well i got my fix right here after the previous conversation i'm afraid to ask what the protein is in your bottle that stuff is pure plastic yeah congratulations love what you're trying to do show off your intellect and proved it's 35. this is wood and glass plastic good point mate well made what do you think mom she actually doesn't have another point that's the next sentence. That's plastic. Mom, what do you think of this? Subtle. Subtle won't save the towers from John Prince. You planning on eating those eggs with your fingers, love? Oh, sorry. Obviously, you wouldn't be that uncouth. No, you've clearly got a pen there that you could use. You helping out with the aftercare program this summer and maybe giving school another try. Those two things aren't equal. When I want to do this random pointless activity that won't earn you any money or you could go and get educated. I mean, judging by that poster, you're already about as deluded as you possibly can be. It's not as if they could do any more damage to you. Robin, you're 24. You need some kind of direction. Because you're a loser. Mind you, I had no direction at 30 and now I've ended up shouting at people on the internet. Just goes to show nothing changes. So, took on some new apps. You took on some new apps? Do you mean you made some apps? What have you got going for you? The next Candy Crush? Were you the designer of Diablo Immortal? I'm making some money. No one believes that, love. Maybe I could finally get my own place. You can tell the mum doesn't believe her just from that facial expression. How are you gonna make ends meet in Mercia? You and I can barely make the rent here. Those apps really working for you then, ain't they, love? I'll get a job in the city, maybe a couple. Wait, I thought your apps were bringing you money. Now you need a job as well. Are we just all sitting around a table lying to each other and we all know we're all lying to each other? I'm making loads of money. I can move out. But we can't afford this rent already, so you can't be making that much. You're dreaming. Yeah. You're not supposed to say yes to that question. You're a deluded bint. Yes. That's not a question you can chad yes to. I am. You should be proud of it. I've thought about this. I've got a plan. Wait, I mean, so far your plan seems to be go to prison and use that as your new B&B &B with free food. I could crash with dad till I get settled. Your father. Oh, we've just named Satan himself. I can't believe you'd mention your father. Who is he? Darth Vader? What, he's gonna let you sublet the couch he's surfing on? Oh, of course, he's a waste of space as well. I mean, we've already really lowered the bar in this series. So that was the only thing that was physically <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it does say a lot that you had two kids with the guy who's surfing sofas. <laughs> Maybe if you had higher standards than a song being on the radio, we'd all be in a better place and this entire story wouldn't need to happen. Sherwood is more than just a neighborhood. Oh. Yeah, it's English folklore that went down for centuries that's being actively destroyed in front of our very eyes. We've got roots here, families we've grown up with. I'm closer to the nutter upstairs that's got chickens than ever before. Robin, be safe out there, okay? We can't move from here. We've got roots.
cops here. I'm friends with everybody. By the way, if you leave that door, watch out. It's really dangerous and someone will kill you. Why are you friends with people that will attack you the moment you leave your door? I'll uh, see you later. If I survive. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm not that lucky. Although no one's going to watch episode two, so I guess we'll never know. Can I get dibs on a room? And the jar. About last night, if they got that phone, we'd be booked. Yeah, maybe don't take your easily trackable personal phone to a crime scene. Just saying. So then we meet Alan. You know, the place she stayed last night where she made this face. Alan deserves better. Roomy to share junkyard with mad scientists. Th there's no way we're going with that right. The classic scientist. Like, there are limits to how much you can suspend your disbelief. You make friends, I make cool. That's my superpower. <laughs> yeah, you were probably the designer of that bit of wood with some elastic on it from what I imagine. But this video is gonna be lit. Pretty ironic that he says it's gonna be lit and then it's so dark you can barely see it. What you needed to do, mate, was get those lights and put them in front of the person that you're supposed to be lighting. Finally break a thousand views lit. We committed a crime, fought the sheriff, and almost got caught. All to make a really bad music video that won't get a thousand views. I mean, admittedly, that's about as popular as this show will be, at least by the time we've reached the finale. When I get up, it's gonna be huge. Oh, oh it's gonna be huge. <laughs> I think we've just found the level of comedy for the writers. Turns out their accidental stuff is way better than that of the characters themselves. You sure no one can trace that back to us? Are you sure we should be recording all of our crimes? Plot armor of this show is just, it's amazing they're not all in prison. My men will wipe down the data. Nobody will know. I wiped down the data. You sure that video is fine? Well, I sprayed some Dettol on it, got out the microfiber cloth and washed the SSD drive. I think it's fine. My MacBook doesn't work, but apart from that, it's golden. Oh, remember, upload party tonight. Upload party? I've done 381 videos. I've never had an upload party. I want an upload party now. All I've got to do is live in the ashes of civilization. I could have an upload party. I'll move to London. So she goes to the skyscraper. The moment she walks in the lobby, you're like, I, I don't believe you've got a job here. Delivery for Chet Prince. Oh, when she said she got apps. Oh, I didn't know she meant, well, I can't say Uber Eats. You could have just said a name that was close enough that we all understood. I'd get comfortable. All right, mate. There's no need to treat her like that. You don't even know her. At least I've spent the last 10 minutes suffering in her company. Welcome to my treasure room. It's very you. What, empty with four people in it? What do you think of my latest acquisition? No. Did you make her the villain of the piece? Richard Branson. Look at that. These coins were minted by Athelstan, the first king of England. Why are they in Canada? A thousand years ago, he called the shots for an entire nation. Yeah, that's what kings tended to do. You didn't need to say that. It was already wrapped up within the word king. Imagine how many hands those had to pass through just to make their way into mine. It's almost like getting married to Robin Hood. I take it you're not donating them to the museum. Why would he? He's paid for them. The museum can't have my mouse either. It's mine. But no, he's brought the mayor here because he needs her power. I want you to let me buy Sherwood. Doesn't seem like that bad a deal. He'd probably make it nice. I mean, let's face it, anything's better than the current crap all it is. My father wanted to buy his way into heaven and teach me humility, and I would say he failed on both counts. I like him. Is this going to be another show where the villain is the good guy? <laughs> We've come up with a load of insufferable heroes. But here's the evil guy who's the one that the audience agrees with. It's the most valuable property in the entire city. That rundown, damaged tower block is the most expensive property in the city. He's in a posh skyscraper in the city. He's saying that rundown tower block is more expensive than the building he's in. No wonder Robin can't afford rent. Like they're living in the shard or something. It's perfect. It's occupied. So is a dumpster if you count the rats. It's economy. But she's like, no, the city needs those people. It's like, okay. You do realize if he just improved the area, those people wouldn't vanish. If an area is that valuable, you move to a cheaper area that you can afford or have a better quality of life under the same income. Income. People do it all the time. This city needs those people. Factory workers, truck drivers, your own employees. So far, the only people we've seen in that tower are unemployed. If you want her to have a point, you should have actually shown us some of these actual workers. They keep to themselves. The only thing you've shown us about Sherwood is that they're all pissing criminals. First thing you showed us is they left their tower, went somewhere else, caused trouble, and the and the sheriff had to be called. That's not keeping to yourself. And he's like, look, you remember what the city needs workers? There's a load of young professionals over there. These people actually have jobs. We can move them into the area, improve the entire area, regenerate it so it's not a crap hole anymore, and make the city better. Richard Branson saves the city. You want me to betray my own voters? I want you to do what's best for the city. Largely because if you see your 
voters as the poor and unemployed, that gives you an incentive to keep them that way. I want to give you better ones, and they will elect you in a landslide. It's win-win. Everybody wins, except Robin. It's like icing on the cake. But then his son comes in with somebody that Robin's mum would be extremely proud of. She's definitely got a jar of her own. Yeah, cool. Huh? You should uh, bring your friend Michelle, and I'll show you guys this together. Maybe it's two jars. You remember my son, Chet? I have a feeling half the city does. I mean, I'm genuinely impressed that he's done so well for himself in a tracksuit. I've not seen them since the 90s. You bring one more peasant into my penthouse, Chet. The words don't exist for how much I like Richard Branson's character right now. I will throw her off the balcony myself. <laughs> I thought we were going shopping. Oh, that's the only reason I'm with you, mate. I need a new handbag. I thought you would buy me something. Yeah, I'm buying you a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Thought did, didn't you, love? Bernard, what's, what's his name? Get out of the front, because you just get her a taxi and make sure she's never allowed through the doors again. Yeah, it's like Marmite. You only ever eat it once. But he's the guy the package is for. Yeah, you've got my Uber Eats, love. So she just hands him a shoebox. It's not even in any packaging. It's just a shoebox. He's a leather. I ordered denim. Sorry, can't take him. So he gives her the package back to return. And she's like, oh, I don't know why you're concerned, love. You still get paid for the delivery because it's the company that was at fault. And then a mob of extremely calm, civilized individuals appear. God, Chris is no good. Keep your hands up, sir. Just happens to be her sister, apparently. Guess we know what the sign was for. She's eaten her scrambled eggs with her fingers and she's ready to roll. Keep your hands Seriously? Up, sir, yeah, whatever you do, don't improve our living accommodation. You're like, Mr. Prince, the peasants are back again. I can have them escorted out, sir. There's only a dozen of them. I like her as well. But he zooms in on, I, I think it's Robin's mum. It's difficult to tell on a picture that's like 140p. Track them down, find out who they are. But the sheriff gets a call on their phone that looks like it was made in 2001. Like, seriously, look at the mass bump they've built in for the camera. And he contacts the sheriff, of course they're in cahoots. I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize in advance, but they're doing it again. The weird thing is, that's the only music they play. In the next scene, it's not actually there. A little goes a long way. Why did you just have a guy sing one line and then stop it? Was that another jetpack? I'm gonna build a jetpack out of my junkyard. Is she gonna be the rocketeer by the end of this episode? My mom starts talking, I've been organizing this for ages. All my effort goes into saving this place. What's the point in fighting if you know you can't win? Probably the same reason I'm making this video. Stupidity. What's the point in fighting if you know you can't win? What a great hero. We literally went from... And stay out of Sherwood! To this... What's the point in fighting if you know you can't win? At record speed. The hero we need in Canada. We know you need a change in career if you can't be a hero. I'd normally suggest becoming a home chef. Although given what we've just said, I've got to do this roast for an hour and 20 minutes. What's the point of cooking a roast if it'll never finish? I also find that every single hero who has to get into physical fights always wears hoop earrings. I'm sure they won't get torn out to the instant violence happens. Because some fights have to be fought. Basically how I feel about this video. <laughs> Win or lose. Yeah. When it comes to Robin Hood, we're all losers by this point. You know, maybe you should go live with your father. You sound just like him. Well, that's weird, because I mean, you slept with him. You had two kids with him. You're like, oh, what I was really attracted to was how much of a loser you are. <laughs> he sweet-talked me into opening that jar. No, she's got two kids. They didn't open the jar. But then we've got the hero of the piece, Shadow Boxing. Let's face it, it's the only enemy she's actually equipped to fight. At this point, I'm not sure if the air would defeat her. But then we get something that I don't think was meant to be sarcastic. I don't know how you don't take this as sarcastic. <laughs> Look at you. Ah, look at you. Watch out, we've got Muhammad Ali coming in strong. <laughs> so drag in your elbow. It's like a muscle tone could barely lift her own hand. Little John? Given this show, I don't want to know what the little refers to. Kind of weird me still here after all these years. I'm glad you stayed though. <laughs> Calm down, love. He's just come back from deployment. You might be the first woman he's seen in months. I thought about you a lot over there. That's not creepy at all, is it? You changed the music, and this is a very different scene. You stopped writing. I mean, I get it. I can understand. You kept eating the crayons you were supposed to send me a letter with. I remember these. <laughs> so are you all right after everything? I will be after I've just beat you with this massive stick. <laughs> I remember giving you the stick and move. Hey, what you two do in the privacy of your own home is your business. Couldn't sit down for a week. All right, let's see what you got. Well, this ought to be funny. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, and I don't just mean the added in voices afterwards, I've heard just going, oh. They're not exactly fighting noises, are they? But also, shot from behind. 
<laughs> Does that look like the same face to you? Oh, look, we've just accidentally covered up whoever it is when we can see them from the front with their own hair. That does explain why they had to get her to dub over her fighting noises afterwards. <laughs> Dude, you fight slower than Ahsoka. <sighs> You know they teach you stuff in the army, right? So many jokes, so little time. But at that moment, the sheriff arrives with a warrant. What's going on? I mean, what's going on? Did you not understand where they go? We've got a warrant! You're under arrest for inciting violence, trespassing on private property. Well, she did trespass on private property. She walked straight into his lobby. I don't know about anyone else. She seems to be inciting quite a lot of violence right now. Peaceful protest! You do realize you can't peaceful protest inside someone's house. I'm just gonna say peaceful like it's a magic word. There are children here! Get the children out of there. You can't have a parrot going, there are children! Okay, so move them then. That's your pissing job. Why did you bring them here? Are you crazy? I mean, at this point, you're just pointing your own gun at your friends. Why would he turn around and do this at his back when the threat is in front of him? His colleagues are supposed to be dealing with his back. <laughs> Whoever wrote this, I don't believe you've ever left your own house. You have never had an interaction with another human being in your life. This entire show is just internet memes of a civilization they've never experienced. No! Not that upsetting, love. We barely know her. Don't worry, someone else will fill up your jar. As from what we've learned in this show, that's the only thing you care about. So then he starts pointing at the rest of the crowd, who at this point, you probably should legitimately be afraid of. Mom, hold still! Where do you think she's going? Look, Mom, I know you've just been shot, but don't go running any marathons. We know what you like. L the last time you got shot, you decided to cook Christmas lunch. I mean, it was delicious, but you lost an arm. Why don't you call an ambulance? You're a zoomer. You've definitely got a phone. Zoom in all over the place, except to try and save your mom's life, apparently. Then it's just like, somebody else do everything for me. Which is actually a running theme in her life. Call an ambulance. That is a remarkably quick realization, isn't it? I'd still be in the, I just got shot stage. How dare he, he just shot me. I mean, on the plus side, at least it'll stop you trespassing on other people's property. Every cloud. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I didn't know it was coming now. Your pop's still out of the country. We could try yours. <gasps> no, you haven't. I thought they had the same dad. I mean, at this point, her mom's like a Pokemon master. She's got to collect them all. Our dads are jokes. But not our mom, though, who's got arrested for inciting violence, trespassed on private property, and then got blown away. <laughs> our mom's the responsible one. What'd they say? The bullet's gone through her spine and she's paralyzed. Beyond surgery, recovery. The odds of recovery are... Minimal. It's a bit like me after watching this show. She'll never walk again. That's what she's paralyzed from the waist down means. Come on, love. Keep up. You're supposed to be the main character. They've not even shown us how this will affect her life. She was basically a layabout who stayed at home anyway. And then we see that she's handcuffed. Of course she is. She's a criminal. You incited violence and trespassed onto private property. Stop it. Oh my god, I can't believe there's been consequences for our actions! You cuffed my mom? Of course they did. She's under arrest. Keep up, love. You're supposed to be the main character. You do realize the only reason Robin Hood didn't face consequences is because he never got caught. Maybe if you're going to go around being a criminal, you shouldn't do it on CCTV cameras. You're the sheriff. Your deputy shot my mom. Well, I mean, I'm glad you have at least a basic handle on the events of the last 20 minutes, love. But I don't know if you've been paying attention. We've all been here watching it. We already know. Who was that line for? You're gonna let this happen? What's she gonna do about it? Do you not know the difference between a nurse and a judge. Why can't a nurse overwrite the rulings of the criminal justice system? I know in Canada, the health system is, um, well, it has the power over life and death. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but unless you want that nurse to finish the job, I'm not sure what you think she's gonna be. Do we need to escort you out? So Robin leaves. You idiot. You've just ruined her carpet. There was no need for that. She'll walk again. She's stronger than anyone I know. But repairing your spine isn't really about strength. Um, Robin Loxley? I mean, at least be one step closer if it was. That, no, that's if you spelt it with an I, not a Y. Your mother's attorney. My mom doesn't have a lawyer. 
I mean, she gets into so much criminal activity, I'm surprised. I thought she'd have a loyalty card. Get arrested for trespassing five times, the six times free. Picked out a favourite cell and everything. How do we keep my mom out of jail? Well, has she ever considered being a lawful citizen for once in her life? It's a bit like, if she didn't want kids with someone who was surfing sofas, then she could just keep her legs closed. We don't. We can plead this down. She serves two, three years. She did do the crime that they're accusing her of. She's innocent. I can prove it right now. Keep your hands up. There she is. At this point, the only question is, why did they let the daughter off? But bail has been set at $30,000. They claim she's a flight risk. <laughs> I have a feeling you could take that to appeal. Your mother is paralyzed from the waist down. She's not going to be wheeling herself onto any private jets anytime soon. Passport control can't stop her getting on a plane. Your country has bigger issues. This is like saying that Shakespeare is in danger of breaking Ofcom rules. Why didn't you say that was impossible? That's the bit that's impossible. 30 that's impossible. Like 30 grand, that's impossible. Oh, her being a flight risk, actually. Yeah, that's that's pretty reasonable, actually, when you come to think about it. I would have done that if I was her. This show has everything exactly opposite reality. John Prince. He filed the initial complaint against your mother. Of course he did. It was his property that she trespassed on. Who else do you think filed the complaint? I thought I could do anything I wanted. I was just surprised that he had the nerve to complain. He uses the law to muzzle his critics. But maybe his critics should obey the pissing law. They could just stayed outside on the pavement and everything would have been fine. No, strangely, you don't have a right to invade somebody else's house. Maybe I should just squat in their apartment, see how they feel about it. And when that doesn't work, Prince has other methods. I love how just this random pro bono lawyer knows all about his methods. I've got a bike that's up against a wall for some reason. It's gonna do wonders for your paint, love. Jet wants kicks. I want to talk to his dad. What do you mean he wants kicks? He's already bought the trainers. You just delivered the wrong ones. The correct ones do exist. What are you doing? Just gotta talk to Prince. Why are you cutting up fabric to stick to a trainer? Take the trainers back to the store you got them from. They will give you the correct ones and then you take them to him. This is the same plan, but without you ruining a pair of trainers. You don't have to make them yourself. It's gonna work. I don't care whether it works. Why are you doing it in the first place? All you do is deliver the product. You don't have to make it for him, love. I can't believe you kicked me out. I can't believe most things in this show, mate. At this point, we're too far in to give up. Love the treasure room. Makes him think I've got glass coming out the ass. Why would you want glass coming? out your ass. That sounds incredibly painful, not attractive. That's like a meme video I saw when I was in high school. It was horrific. Cinderella's here. Cinderella? Oh, because she's bringing you the shoes. That's entirely backwards, mate. You're supposed to be bringing her the shoes. Do you have my trainers that I ordered? No, but I've got the wrong ones that I've just stuck bits of crap to. They're bespoke. Can I order right this time? So once again, she brings them the box, which isn't sealed. Wow. The wow is right. These look amazing. Yeah, it looked like a 12 year old just stuck some fabric trainer. Special delivery. <laughs> new made him was pretty special as well. Glad you messed up my order. I get to see you twice. What is even happening right now? How big is it? <laughs> No! I've got to see if my jaw fits. So she starts, well, if you're afraid, then obviously we can go. He's like, I can't let this random person that walked in off the street go. I've got to impress them for some reason that no one really knows. Yeah, because if there's one thing we know about billionaires' sons, it's they're desperate. They can't let one get away because it's not as if there'll be another one lining up outside. You know, if you like gold, I've got a genuine Johnny Dang ring in my bedroom. What? Oh, okay. I was just too much of a peasant to know this brand even existed. I have to say, though, these things are hideous. <laughs> 40 grand for that. Looks like it was designed by somebody who works on rings of power. Just goes to show money can't buy class. Or in fact, all of this seems very, um, new money. Now I've pissed off the rich people, let's go back to the show. <laughs> I can't believe he called me new money. The kind of stuff Dal Boy would wear. But at that moment, his dad returns, so he hides her behind a door. I wanted her in prison and out of the headlines. He didn't even want her injured. He just wanted her imprisoned for a crime that she did commit. Remember, this is supposed to be the villain of the piece. He's having a go at the sheriffs. I can't believe you did something so stupid. She's a martyr with a story to tell. He's like, look, I just wanted you to do your pissing jobs. Enforce the law. Come on, sheriff. Woman in locks this condition, anything could happen. Well, that escalated quickly. It's like, look, I didn't even want her injured. I just wanted the law enforced. By the way, just, you know, anything could happen. Those are two entirely different people. I'm not even sure why he's concerned. He's not even the guy getting the bad press. But he's like, okay, you've got to get out of here because my dad's talking about murdering people in the other room. Come to my birthday next month. It's going to be lit. Yeah, by the way, you've just heard my dad say he wanted to murder people. But if you want to come to my birthday party, it's going to be amazing. Don't worry. I'll make sure he promises not to murder you as well. Just your mom. But from that, she comes up with an idea. I know how to save my mom. I'm sure it's going to be a genius plan. Bearing in mind, I don't know what it is yet. 
The terrible music gave it away. He's like, this is going to be amazing. I stole the key to get into his house. We're going to break in and steal his coins. How do we stop my mom going to prison for a crime she committed? Let's do more crime. These are supposed to be the heroes. We can't just pitch the gold on the block. And yeah, because that's the problem with the plan. How are you going to get rid of the gold? Not breaking and entering. Mind you, it never stopped your mom, did it? I do know a guy. I bet he knows lots of guys. So, Rob... You seriously gonna rob John Prince? Where did that come from? You've just walked in the room. They weren't even talking about it when you were here. I mean, it is just walk into a room. If she's there, she's probably committing crime. That guy's telepathic. The only explanation. Are you crazy? Well, you're telepathic. You should know. Prince and the sheriff will kill my mom if we don't bail her out. So you're saying there's an upside? I mean, in his penthouse, we even hear him say this. Out of the headlines, and now she's a martyr with a story to tell. Do you even know what a martyr means? To kill someone because of their beliefs. He's like, she's in hospital as a martyr. What should we do? Kill her. You're just going to turn her into a martyr, which is the only thing you don't want to do. None of this even ties back to you because you didn't do any of it. What even is this show? What's your plan? Snatch, grab. Don't get caught. That's not a plan. A plan would include how you do any of those things. I'm sure your mum's plan included break, enter, don't get shot. She didn't think it through either. We need eyes. <laughs> It certainly do, mate. Just like her mom needs legs. You can't go in blind. We could wheel her mom in, though, see what she could do. Who knows? There's Maybe there's a ramp access for thieves. I have something to help. Yeah, love, you seem full of absolutely useful inventions. If I needed to work out how to steal electricity from the neighbours next door, I'd contact you. But for anything else, probably gonna go elsewhere. All oh, right, she stole the drone. Awesome. Everything these people have stolen. I could fix it, except... I'm hardware, not software. So many jokes, so little time. He's supposed to be hardware, you're software. Also, the entire point of drones is they're very easily fixable. They're entirely modular. The armor tech genius! I swapped out a motor! You're a hacker who scrubs our videos. And then he arrives at their house. This ought to be good. God, um, Robin Loxley. Watch Millerson, I love your music. Turns out he's been spying on them all by the looks of it. Hello! I Wrong button there. Hello, by the way, I've been spying on all of you. Great to see you in real life. Sharon, I've been watching you from your ring camera doorbell. You are not in the band. Groupie. <laughs> Groupie for who? Groupie at least implies something desirable on the other end. Can a skeptical here, Alan? That's because you only see the meat. Difficult to miss, mate. Takes up most of the camera. We to use a wide angle lens for this one. One day my mind will arise to a plane of pure logic. Oh, great. He's off his face. Mind you, the only way this show could get any better is if you start talking about the machine elves. So, like, yeah, man, look, shut your face. Can you fix the machine or not? This is about your mother, isn't it? Dude, it's a drone, not a therapy session. Can you hack the drone or not? The networks won't cover her shooting. She trends in the sub forums. I feel like I've just lost 20 IQ in one sentence. I take it back. Whoever wrote the show doesn't go outside and doesn't go on the internet. They have to sit in a room blindfolded to be under this kind of delusion. John Prince wants her dead. We rob him to save her. How do we stop this guy murdering our mom? Let's piss him off. You got any other great ideas, love? Maybe want to cause a nuclear meltdown to go green. So this guy's like, I know an exploit for it. I can get in. It's like, it's only a drone, mate. If you couldn't get into that one, you could buy one for 50 quid. Just stick a GoPro on it. So then we get one of the most farcical scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> What even is this mess? I mean, vertical mice can look weird, but this is just taking the piss. That's not ergonomic at all. Oh, great. He's controlling his computer like one of those magnetic instruments. You can play it with any part of my body. <laughs> if he licks that thing, I'm leaving. That's incredibly inefficient compared to tactical feedback of a keyboard, mate. You've got room for a keyboard. You've basically got a laptop anyway. How are you doing that? The power of delusion and mushrooms and what I can work out. Subdermal implants. By a keyboard, mate, you don't need implants. Who do you think you are? Pamela Anderson. They bring me closer to the arm. Yeah, I think that's the excuse she used as well for getting massive tits. It brings me closer to the photographic art form. What's with the drip? This is the second time I've realized this show isn't made for me. It disrupts facial recognition. Software. Oh, you mean this jacket I'm wearing? It disrupts facial recognition software. Only if you put it over your pissing face, mate. You know what else disrupts facial recognition software when put over your face? Pissing any clothes at all. I no longer think this guy just sits in his own house. I'm not even sure the writer of this is from our planet. You have more? I want one of those magical jackets as well. It's not a cloak of invisibility, love. So he decides to get some jar of alcohol they are mind melding over there oh we reference star trek might be the first time anyone's ever used drip and mind melds in the same scene mezcal 
from Tuck's trunk. Do you really want to drink alcohol made in somebody's trunk? Says he makes it himself. Yeah, but it tastes like it too. How you feeling? Gonna feel a lot worse after I've drank this, mate. I can't believe what happened to my mom. I was arguing with her just before. So, why mass rappers? You went so hard on the eyes. Chill out, mate. I know you've been gone a while, but you, you may need to work on your compliments. Why'd you wear a mask, love? I mean, you're not completely hideous. You are bad on the eyes, but you're not that bad. Dad put her through a lot trying to live that life. No, no, you can't. No, don't be this stupid. So, why do you want to be a singer? Well, dad put her through a lot living that life. So I thought I would as well. Figure the hood blows up. I'm a big star. She can't say nothing. It's not just badly written. It's predictable. My dad ruined my mum's life by trying to be an artist. So I thought... I'll follow in his footsteps and do it as well. But don't worry, unlike him, I'll definitely be a success with bangers like this. That music's gonna get banned when people start popping their own eardrums just to save themselves the pain. You got stage fright, don't you? No, she's committing crimes in the music video, so if she showed her face, she'd be recording her own evidence that can be used in court. That's not stage fright, that's a legitimate concern. <laughs> so then we get her boxing again. This is someone whose greatest workout has been picking up the jar her mom fills for her every day, versus a guy who's just come out in the military. But we're supposed to believe it's a fair fight. We do that by just having a POV of her with her fist up all the time. Oh, she's so intimidating, a foot smaller than me. So he starts air hacking. I don't know what you're thinking, he's a hacker. Underneath those plates must be the best tech you can physically get on this earth. This is not anymore. Yeah. No, it's, it's just it's just alcohol. It's actually just an empty box full of booze. So she decided to paint the drone. Meanwhile, we've got the four Stooges about to break into a skyscraper. As you can see, their sneaking skills second to none. That's why they've got the LEDs lighting up on their masks. They're even next to the building, glowing. Elevator through the parking garage. Okay, are you gonna shut your pissing masks off? Last chance to back out. Back out? I'm surprised you haven't already been seen. You're literally fluorescent. What, so we came here for nothing? I mean, hopefully not. I hope you all get caught. You swagged up, right? Swagged up. This show wasn't made for me. Went hard and tight. Is that what they do in the army? Oh, that's what they do in the navy. We got this. You're gonna need all the stealth skills of Assassin's Creed in a bush fed with glowing heads. So we run along. That's the skyscraper we're breaking into. And this is the unguarded security door, which we run up to with our LEDs still on. Very discreet, love. <laughs> We're inside the building now with our glowing LED faces. Fly this thing. I can drive anything. That's a no then. He said, can you fly it? And you went, I can drive. You don't drive a drone, you idiot. <laughs> also, did we not try first? When we fixed the drone, did we not try flying the drone before we took it in a raid? So they decide to fly the drone out the garage exit. Don't see any guards. It's a crazy idea, love. Why didn't you do this from outside the building? Yeah, we're gonna break into a skyscraper and then fly a drone outside of it. If you get out of this without getting caught, it's a pissing miracle. So they fly the drone up to the penthouse to look through the window. Oh, look, there's no one there. Through this one window. It's a penthouse. It has multiple rooms. No one home. In that room. So they enter on CCTV cameras. For some reason, no one's watching the CCTV cameras. So, you uh, meet anyone special in the army? Look, I know you have an entire jar filled day for this very purpose, but I don't know if you've noticed, we're breaking into a skyscraper. Can you please keep them closed for 30 seconds? I'm not getting caught by the police because they follow a trail of you dripping on the floor. You seen anyone? From what I've gathered in this episode, everyone. Nothing serious. That's a yes then. Is that really a response you want? So, uh, you dating anyone? Nah, I'm just banging a load of people for absolutely no reason whatsoever. They just line up outside my door and I let them in. You know, we struggle to afford rent, but we'd be able to cover it easily if my mum stopped filling that pissing jar. You know, guy here, girl there. Another 20 more the next day. But they just walk in. It's not as if you'd have security cameras or anything. And then they turn up in the cars. We got one Robin. Don't worry, I've got out the flip phone. I'll send her a text. Either that or he's decided to play snake on a Motorola Razor. We'll never find out. <sighs> service. I'm not surprised, mate. That phone's from about 2004. But the sheriff and Prince arrive. Yo, they're gonna be trapped in there. Quiet, mate. Don't give me hope. They hide in the room as he arrives in the lift. I ask for an arrest and I get a shooting. I gotta be honest, he's got a point. That sheriff is trash. We need an explanation as to why it happened. We're not gonna do that, no. The fact it happened is just explanation enough, apparently. But while they leave to go to the other room, she decides to go out and try for the coins again. I'd like to point out that despite the fact they're hiding in someone's flat, they still have glowing faces. But then this happens. 
Are you telling me a guy would have an incredibly valuable set of gold coins, but not stick some WD-40 on the hinges so they squeak? And she hears it because she's got the ears of a bat or something. It wasn't that loud, love. And yet, she walks off to investigate and finds her red-handed stealing the golden coins. I mean, considering you just shot a woman for standing there, I'm surprised you're so restrained. The mask off now. That won't help. You see, she's wearing clothes which disrupt facial detection algorithms. She took a mask off, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Is that one of my drones? Why are we wondering about the drone? It's only got a camera on it. So then the guy runs across the entirety of the room and just like pulls the gun up out of her hand. I mean, look, I'm English, no firearms expert, but even I know there's still one left in the chamber, mate. I'd just walk over and pick up the gun anyway. Handle one of them. Instead, she runs away, grabs a spear, and this turns into like a melee fight versus pandas with glowing faces. I don't know what I expected for a finale, but it wasn't this. But we are in luck. Yeah. He's winning. We smashed the coins all over the place, but that doesn't matter. We could still hold the thief to justice. And it looks like that's his plan. <laughs> that was some of the worst cuts and editing and kicking I've ever seen. What is it with this show and gently kicking someone about one foot off the ground? Oh no, you slightly injured my shin. But don't worry, the soldier guy's got a spear of his own. <laughs> Don't worry though, she kicked him in his hip again and he went flying. The greatest martial arts move known to man, gently touching someone with your foot. Maybe if you hadn't held it like that for half an hour, he wouldn't have had time to roll out the way, love. They obviously win the fight because they need to, otherwise they might actually be held responsible and accountable for their own actions. And, you know, we can't have that. And so she literally starts choking him on the ground. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if the supposed villain wasn't able to breathe? But eventually he passes out. Oh, look, it's Robin Hood and she's got a bow finally. Of course, there is a problem. <laughs> She missed. But like I say, bows require actual talent and skill to use as opposed to a, a stick. Oh no, I'm so intimidated by the glowing LED mask. So they decide to leave after a certain question. Did you get the gold? No. Yeah, they didn't even get what they came here for. They just decide to take his limo driver hostage. I'd like to point out these are supposed to be the heroes and drive off. Woo! Look, this is a great car that I've stolen. Yeah, you can all support us as we move into this heroic series. So we went for gold, came back with the rose. Yeah, the gold is worth far more. If my boss sees this in here. Oh, great. You bought a stolen car back to her place of employment to get him in trouble as well. Would you learn how to use this thing anyway? She didn't. She missed. Remember that urban youth camp they made us all go to? I went to a camp for a week and learned how to use a bow professionally. It's not like it takes an incredible amount of training and skill and talent to use. What'd you take? Bowling. To be fair, hitting them with a bowling ball would do a lot more damage than her missing. But instead, they sell the car and then use that money to post bail for a mom. And we get this. How the hell did she post bail? We're under no obligation to tell you that. No, but as a lawyer, you are under an obligation to not be a criminal. Don't suppose you tell me where the money came from? Well, if I was in your position, I definitely know where I thought she'd got the money. Sure what came through. Just had to pass the jar room. <laughs> Never expected to, to prove my assumption correct. What can I say? That jar is infinitely useful. A rich man did this to me to get me out of his way. He wanted you arrested for the crimes that you'd committed to get him out of your way. You still haven't explained why this happened. Didn't feel the need to write that into your script. Seems like I'm getting right back in him. I'm not sure he'll be that scared. All he's got to do is remove the ramps from outside his building. I'll be here. He can't cause that much trouble when all he has to do is go upstairs. You started something and you know they won't stop. Nor should they. You need to be held accountable for your actions. I don't know if you realize the show that you've made. These people are the villains. Let him come. You just want him to face justice at this point. So then we get more of the awful music. <laughs> They filmed a video in his car. Yeah, that's not making a thousand views, mate. And the sheriff's like, they just declared war on you, Mr. Branson. But then they make the most stupid mistake of all. I'm in my soul now. Sure what is home now. You just told him where you live. Why are the criminals recording themselves and giving out their address? But you don't wanna cause we... What was that mess? I don't even know what I've just watched. The villains trespassed on a skyscraper for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So he wanted them held accountable by the sheriff. The sheriffs just randomly overreact, never explains why. So for some reason, the guy who owns the skyscraper just goes, oh, kill him then. I don't know why. And their only response to it is, we're just gonna commit more crimes. That'll work. At no point did they do anything good, anything heroic, anything to make you like them. Found out Robin's bankrupting the entire family by just constantly emptying a jar that a mom has 
to fill up for all the time, to the point where they can't even afford rent because of it. And I'm supposed to what, like, relate to the rampant criminals going around stealing things for no reason whatsoever? Robin Hood had a reason why he was doing it. And in this, it's just like, I think I should be able to commit crimes with no responsibility, no accountability, and you should let me. That's not how civilization works. What a rampant pile of crap. Completely inverted morality. And it's one saving grace is that because everything is so absurd and just directly opposite reality, the entire thing comes across as a comedic parody of itself because the writers are being absolutely serious and they have no idea how pissing hilarious their worldview is. So while well, the show itself is completely and utterly awful, I did have quite a lot of fun laughing at it. <laughs> Which you get the feeling is the exact opposite of what I was supposed to be feeling at any one scene. <laughs> well, those are just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.